What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Charles. I'm a graduate and medical student studying here in London. In this video, I'll be going through a few ways that you can get started with making notes online if you're not already doing so. I'm sure a lot of you, you probably make notes, you know, by hand. That's something that you worked on during your time in school and in A-levels. But as you get to uni, you slowly realize that there's a lot more content to make notes on. When I first began uni back in 2017, I used to make notes by hand and it just took me forever to do it. I would be spending hours on just doing two or three lectures it would take me the whole day I didn't really enjoy doing it until eventually I switched over to making notes online using the software OneNote which is my preferred web-based platform for making notes I believe most people they have access to a phone or a laptop or computer of some sort so you know hopefully this video can apply to most people I believe OneNote especially with universities today most unis have access to Microsoft Office so hopefully OneNote is more accessible for most people that's watching this video so why should you be taking notes online let's just start off with this point first the first thing that I would say is that it's easier to keep track of again going back to 2017 when I used to make notes by hand I can't tell you where any of those notes are now I've lost all of them especially you know if you put them in your bag making paper notes it gets crumpled it's not nice to look at eventually it comes down to you having piles and piles of folders with all your notes inside and you know even if you keep it very well organized it's still very difficult to go through all of them it's sometimes quite daunting to see a pile of notes a pile of folders with all your notes inside knowing that you have to go through that eventually it's very difficult to you know want to study when you have so much physical notes but having notes online it makes it easier to start the revision or studying process because they're all online they're all easy to access and because they're made online it's easier to store them it's easier to find them you know that brings me on to my second point you really only need to carry your laptop with you when you're making notes online um, if you have a phone which one note is also on if you have an iPad or some type of tablet or even in most unis or colleges for example they do have computers there you can really have your notes anywhere you go because especially going to uni I really only needed to have my phone or my laptop with me and I could access my notes anywhere I was I could go to the library you know just have easy access to every single note that I made during my whole degree really even right now as I'll show you guys later I still have access to all my notes during my first degree and you know now I'm making notes on the iPad Pro with good notes I still have all the notes there it's all very easy to see and it's you know it's all very easy to find when the time comes to go back and to look through it and to go back and review everything and also you know since they're all online they're all still neat there's no crumpled notes like you would have when you would make notes by hand and they would be at the end of your bag all the notes online they still maintain their shape they still look the same way they did when you made them so you know it's very easy to start studying you're able to share your notes easily with your friends when it comes down to the last two or three months before your exams having notes online it makes it very easy to share notes with your friends and to exchange notes because of course Course, most people you'll find do make their notes online and if you're taking notes from other people like the nice cordial thing to do is to share your notes back with them to share your questions back with them having them all online makes it very quick and easy to do that so why do I use Microsoft OneNote so Microsoft Office is available for most universities that are in the UK and you know that's really the main reason I started using OneNote as well as that the interface is very nice it's easy to use it's very easy to organize your notes by module by week by lecture content so I just found it very easy to use and of course again it's free so hopefully this should be a good software that most of you have access to if you don't then please leave it down below and I'll try and use a different online note-taking software and maybe I can include that in a different video in the future so yeah if one note does not work for you for any reason then please let me know down below all right guys so I'll just go now on my laptop and show you guys so you have welcome to one note there so you okay let's start using one note now I think I'm already logged in here so you most likely see the notes I've made here already you have quick notes you can easily have a title so you know let's have a normal title of physiology for example you can you know expand the screen over here be able to copy and paste titles into here you know type some types of different things and one thing I like about it as well is the ability to be able to move the text you write so easily if you see over here in this box it's very easy to move and to rearrange and to you know add in different lecture slides because I don't type my lecture slides that's another video that I'll make you know on how to make notes quickly I just copy and paste it in and write any extra stuff set by the lecturer underneath those slides but again that's a different video I'll be making that video soon so look out for that on how I make notes quickly so for example this is, is how you would make a sections over here um, 
I could easily have something like, let's say week one, and over here rename it to, let's say, anatomy, and then boom, then you can make a new page over here again, and each of these pages could all be different lectures or different contents or different projects that you're doing in university. So it's very easy to make your notes organized using this platform. It's really already organized there for you. It's just up to you to do what you want to do. Okay, but let me show you guys some of the notes that I've made. So going over to my notebooks, this is all the notebooks I've made so far. So for example, during my biomedical sciences degree, a module that we did, for example, was genomics, pathology, science of reproduction. My personal statement is here as well, you know, for when I wrote my personal statement to get into medicine. And if you guys want to see videos going over the whole application process of applying to medicine, then please leave that down below as well, because the summer's coming up. And I know a few of you might be applying. I'm thinking of making videos about how I did it, or just to give you any tips that I've gained on the personal statements on the UCAT, or just, you know, any aspect of the application process for medicine, or just in general for university. Leave that down below if you want that. Okay, let's go to science of reproduction I spent some time making these notes well uh, once this loads so boom the notes have loaded like the whole thing here is, is in dark mode so it's not really nice to see i like using dark mode normally but when i'm making notes it just looks weird so so you have the whole thing here if you've used microsoft word before then this should be the same thing it's not that much different there's a lot more freedom for you to you know make good notes or to make more creative notes so obviously and i changed the background into this kind of box just to make it easier to organize the text and the slides so everything here for example these are all lecture slides that i've just copy and pasted then i highlight them i can underline them i can write some extra questions for example so obviously these ones over here they've not loaded yet there we go and yeah so these were the notes that i made for my third year module i spent quite a bit of time in these notes and just to go back again to show you guys how everything looks so again week one there's two lectures week two there's four week three there's four for this module so again you open the notebook you click it then you organize any way you want some people even they organize this by subtopic, but I just prefer to use weeks in the university. I'm in the online virtual learning environments. All the lectures are organized in weeks, so it makes it easy for me to organize my lectures into weeks as well. There's my laptop fan heating up. But yeah, this is basically it, guys. This is how I make my notes. So just going back over what we did again. You have everything here easily organized. You have it by weeks, then by subsection, then by notebook. Notebook is just, let's say, the module that you'll be doing. So let's say like you have two or three modules in that year then you can just have three notebooks then go into those notebooks divide them by week or by subtopic so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoy it